The President, please be seated. The trial chamber is now back uh, in session, and uh, we will continue uh, our proceeding. And uh, I'll give uh, the floor to uh, Judge Cartwright to continue uh, to put questions uh, to the accused. Thank you, Mr. President. I have very Merci, few more questions to ask. What I would like to know is that those whom you called elements, Vous avez le mot you now agree, composant, were detainees. Is that Et correct? Vous me dites qu'il s'agit en fait de détenus. Est-ce exact? The accused, uh, Your Honor, uh, the detainees who were detained in the prisons without fence or wall. C'était en quelque sorte des détenus emprisonnés dans une prison sans mur. In the sense that they had no freedom Question. to leave Pressor, is that Vous correct? Vous ne devaient pas quitter Pressor, c'est exact. The accused, yes, that is correct. Réponse, but oui, in addition exact. to that, uh, most of the rights Mais and freedom cela, were uh, deprived. Et ces aucun droit. Thank you. Now, again, just so Aucune that liberté. I can understand uh, your testimony this morning, at one point you mentioned spies. spies. When you are referring to spies, in relation to Pressor, do you de mean detainees who were accused of being des, spies des des or spies ou que vous employed by Pressor to find information about the detainees? Mouchard, the person who espionnerait the detainees. The accused, uh, Your Honor, Réponse. at Brissot, uh, there were two separate uh, elements. Uh, the first uh, elements, uh, uh, it's it may confuse when I use the word uh, elements. Uh, let I say, uh, uh, I would like to say. Again, uh, the elements I uh, used just now, it's difficult to understand. Pour ce qui est du mot, uh, At Brissa, there were two kinds of people. Deux genres de personnes. One uh, were the staff member of S21. Il y en avait, il y avait ceux qui étaient membres du personnel the S21. second group of people, uh, they were called elements, il y avait ce uh, components uh, detained there for the purpose of uh, labor work and uh, tempering uh, them forcés. on uh, discipline and uh, labor work. Uh, par la discipline et par le uh, travail. The first type of group of people was uh, my combatants gens, les, and the, uh, the second group was the, the elements and from outside. Qui so uh, your question, I uh, feel a bit confusion. I can uh, respond uh, only to a kind of group of people. Voilà, so if you want to uh, know further, sort, please ask. Bien votre question. Thank you. I am trying to clarify what was meant by you when you used the word spies this morning. Did any of the staff of S24 excuse me, spy on the elements or detainees? The accused, Your Honor, uh, S21 staff who 
who were a member of S21, say the accused, uh, they uh, uh, supervise, they control, and reported against uh, those elements or detainee at S24. It's not only uh, spying, but also uh, they manage, they call, they curse, they force them to do the work, and they reported about their psychological or their uh, ideology. And uh, uh, was this friend from someone from a, a distant to, to spy for one time to another? I think it was a translation problem, but uh, my staff assigned to work there, they did every work. Every, uh, against those uh, bad elements, including force them to do the work, including uh, also the cursing, scolding, and uh, monitoring, and reporting to the upper echelon and to the three of us. So uh, they perform every uh, task. Uh, that uh, done by the staff of S21. As for the elements, they don't have that kind of uh, role and rights. They, what they had to do is to do uh, the forced labor, that's all. Thank you. So none of the staff were given the task of listening to private conversations of the elements or detainees. The accused, uh, uh, Your Honor, when you are talking about that, yes, uh, there was uh, someone assigned to uh, listen. Uh, uh, the same member uh, of the S21 staff who uh, do the, the listening to the conversation. And those conversations were reported uh, to the um, superiors just as if it was ordinary monitoring of work uh, and uh, behavior generally. Is that correct? The accused, uh, Your Honor, um, that is one kind of the surveillance or monitoring oui, so that they can report to me any point that may cause into uh, danger. Uh, and uh, this spying was done perhaps at night time when people went back to their places to sleep. Would that be right? The accused, uh, Your Honor, yes, uh, they did uh, the spy oui. at night. Effectivement, les mouchards travaillent la nuit. One final question. When you use question. the word elements, are you referring, in fact, to the people from all three groups, group one, two, and three? They accuse your honor. Uh, uh, elements uh, was divided into three groups. Uh, those who were under the supervision and the monitoring were divided uh, into three groups. There were three groups uh, in the elements. This time. Mr. President, uh, President uh, Lavergne, do uh, the bench have any uh, further question to put to the accused? Uh, please, uh, Judge uh, Jean-Marc, uh, the floor is yours. Ce matin, vous avez indiqué qu'il y avait eu un choix délibéré de ne pas utiliser les locaux ou les bâtiments de l'ancienne prison de Pressard. Vous avez dit, si j'ai bien compris, que c'était parce qu'il n'y avait pas d'eau. 
Est-ce que ce n'est pas aussi fondamentalement pour une raison plus politique Parce que la prison de Pressard pouvait représenter un symbole de l'oppression par l'Ancien Régime. Et est-ce que ce n'est pas aussi parce que, officiellement, pendant le régime du Kampuchea démocratique, il n'y avait pas de prison Les centres de détention étaient secrets et devaient rester secrets. The accused, Your Honor, S21, uh, not decided not to use, and every one of us uh, uh, try uh, to use the place uh, in Phnom Penh. Uh, this is true that I uh, recall. C'est comme ça que je me souviens de de la chose. If you are talking about uh, as a symbolic or pour ce qui est de l'aspect symbolique of the uh, old regime prison, it is uh, one of the political idea. Uh, containing in uh, the CPK. Uh, the Communist Party of Cambodia never recognized uh, itself as a regime that has a prison or uh, chains or any calf or cycle. Uh, this This is uh, the position and the behavior of the uh, Communist Party of Cambodia uh, maintained a long time ago. And therefore, all the prisons uh, in the uh, CPK were kept as confidential. And in fact, all the prisons of the uh, Communist Party of Kampuchea, uh, we should not call it in French as, as prison. It uh, should be called as Ensemble de la Mort in French. Because uh, there was no law to effet, protect the right of the detainees in that period. The detainees were uh, detained for a period of time after interrogation. They were taken for execution. So, in conclusion, Uh, what I uh, told you, I uh, did not use uh, the former prison uh, for our utilization because uh, there was no more water, and later Nat decided not to use that either. Et par la suite, Nat a confirmé cette décision de ne pas utiliser la prison de Pressa. And uh, The big prison in Phnom Penh, I visited uh, one time, but uh, it opened to uh, the public and it may be known to the uh, Chinese uh, visitor. Elle était connue du public et elle aurait pu être aussi connue des visiteurs chinois. And uh, in summary, Uh, the Communist Party of uh, Kampuchea uh, did not allow any uh, one to know about uh, their prisons. Uh, they want to keep that in secret. Uh, this is uh, one issue. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, explain that. Uh, so I uh, 
pick uh, 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 several points at this, the same time. So if you don't uh, 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 quite clear, please uh, ask for, for the question. Alors, besoin de clarification concernant I would like to seek clarification on another plus précisément, issue now, que vous pouvez nous dire specifically. Could you tell us le droit who de décider had the right to decide en about sending someone for re-education, re re re-education, being ce pouvoir uh, in inverted commas? Would this authority rest with the same people? d'écraser les ennemis ou est-ce que c'était un pouvoir qui était plus largement partagé Si j'ai bonne mémoire ce matin, vous avez dit pour les militaires, c'était Sunset pour les personnes des autres unités ou ministères or ministries, the decision was with other people, those people who were in charge of those encore, units or ministries. Now, first of all, what I'm saying, is what I'm saying correct? And secondly, would you say that that authority to make such decisions would have been shared by yet a larger group of people? The accused, Your Honor, uh, this morning I said that uh, uh, the military uh, uh, people were decided Ce by some saying yeah, this is correct, this is true. Exact. And other units, uh, the civil units, I went very fast, and it caused a, a unclear uh, in its sense. Et je pas été and the civilian uh, unit should be uh, decided by Pour the upper echelon, uh, someone about some sin. It may be Pol Pot or Nun Chia who made that chien. decision. And then it came down to Son Sen, and Son Sen uh, ordered to me. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to uh, respond to your question. Uh, 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 were those who decision were broader than uh, the military units or the, uh, or the same? I can say uh, it was the same. Uh, it it went it went higher. It went uh, to Pol Pot before uh, they send the people or the victim to me. Avant que les victimes ne viennent chez, ne, chez moi. Um, that's all I can tell you, Your yes. Honor. S'agissant des raisons maintenant qui motivaient l'envoi en rééducation, mais toujours le mot rééducation entre guillemets. Je ne sais pas si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit ce matin, mais j'ai entendu que selon vous, cela concernait des personnes dont on ne savait pas si elles étaient amies ou ennemies whose status was not Mais known. It was not known whether they were friends or enemies. But the party wanted to make sure that forcé, by making them do forced labor, they would not cause any harm to the party. En termes, In other words, que était une politique du was doute, this a policy based on doubt, on misgivings, you found a person il devait être dubious or entre guillemets. somehow suspicious, and consequently this person had to be re-educated. Is this the meaning of what you said this morning, or did I misunderstand you? The accused, your honor, based on what you have said, 
I think you clearly understand oui, je crois que vous avez bien compris what I had said this morning. Ce que je voulais dire ce matin. Ce matin, vous avez dit également, lorsqu'il est question de savoir quel était le but de la rééducation, vous avez dit, lorsqu'une personne était arrêtée pour être envoyée à Pressard, la décision de l'écraser était déjà à moitié prise. Est-ce que vous confirmez ce que je viens de dire it was already half decided that she would be that this person would be smashed is this correct kim represent lok diagram réponse i accept the word i said this morning is what you have just described oui ce que vous venez de dire reflète bien ce que je dis ce matin Alors, toujours pour essayer d'être sûr d'avoir bien compris, vous avez dit ce matin qu'à part 30 individus qui ont été libérés sur place pour servir de soutien militaire à Pressar, toute autre personne détenue à Pressar ne pouvait pas, en principe, être libérée. Est-ce que c'est bien ce que vous avez dit The accused, the yes, that was what I said this oui, morning. Thank you. Judge Lavergne, this morning, did you also indeed say that Pressar did not hope for an improvement of their conditions and could not hope c'est-à-dire le groupe des gens qui étaient le plus potentiellement nuisible au groupe numéro 2 ou au groupe numéro 1 qui était le plus condamné ou le plus léger. Est-ce que vous avez bien dit ça ce matin Offenders ou les détenus de plus léger. Est-ce que c'est aussi ce que vous avez dit ce matin Oui, effectivement, c'est ce que j'ai dit. Alors, j'aimerais maintenant savoir qui, concrètement, avait la responsabilité ou avait le pouvoir de décider d'écraser des détenus de Pressard, soit en les envoyant directement à Chang Ek, soit en les envoyant à Tuol Slang. Est-ce que vous étiez nécessairement consulté Est-ce que vous deviez en référer à vos supérieurs Quels étaient les motifs pour lesquels ces détenus pouvaient être écrasés Est-ce que, par exemple, le manque d'efficacité au travail pouvait être un motif suffisant Zeal at work could be a sufficient reason. Il me semble aussi que ce matin vous avez dit que pour toute arrestation de combattants, il fallait votre autorisation. Mais pour tous les éléments du troisième groupe, vous avez dit, il me semble il que cela vous intéressait peu et que vous aviez délégué cette responsabilité à un subordonné. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez à toutes ces questions. Can you answer all these questions, please? Je me réponds à l'objet de Trump. The accused, Your Honor. Réponse. I would like to reiterate what I said. Je peux répéter ce que j'ai dit. The my. All the combatants belonging to S21, qui appartenaient à S21, 
either working in Phnom Penh soit or at Presor. Penh, soit qu'il travaillait à Presor. Before a decision to arrest them, it needs to be approved from the upper echelon with clear reasons. Ne soit prise en ce sens par l'échelon supérieur avec des raisons claires. And the clear reasons were those that destroys or that affects the forces. Uh, des facteurs qui affectent ou détruisent la force. And not the reason for ineffective work. Et non pas l'inefficacité au travail. And as for those detained in Presor, Pour ce whom I call the elements, Presor, ce que j'appelle les composants, The decision to smash them la décision de les tuer was in the hand of the S21 committee au comité but de S21. I assigned the Mais responsibility to cette my subordinate to the deputy secretary to make that decision de S21 c'est lui qui pouvait prendre cette décision except the documents Sauf this morning, which talk about the family matin, of Sendara, alias, Sendara Sok. alias Sok, and the family of Mayon, et la famille de Mayon, Mylon, Mylon, whom I needed to seek opinion from the upper echelon. When he was sent, there was a strict instruction that Quand il a été envoyé, he, there needs to be his opinion first before the person was smashed. So I had to seek his opinion on these families donc and the rest. The decision was made by the subordinates. Subordinate I would like to frankly reiterate that je le redis ici. what I say is not to deny Ce style, the non pas crimes pour, euh, nier le fait que commis des crimes. that I committed on the elements Allons I am des accepting that responsibility, cette responsibility que although I did eux. not make the decision, ce pas moi qui ai pris la décision but the principle set out by the upper echelon le mais le, appliqué les principes par les that supérieurs. the executioners or the implementers had to be responsible before me. Et les so whatever they had to do, they have to do fassent, it in order not to make those elements rebel pour empêcher que ces composants or ne se révoltent the Communist Party ou ne détruisent le, part, le Parti communiste du Kampuchea. So this is my clarification, uh, donc les and that I accept the crime, Et encore une fois, je although the decision was made by my subordinates. Si that is all, Your Honor. Voilà tout. Pour autant, Judge je crois qu'il est important qu'on qu clarifie un petit peu les choses. Qui décidait de la répartition en trois groupes Qui est-ce qui décidait ça Les condamnés les plus légers aux condamnés les plus lourds Qui décidait de l'envoi directement to à Chongek Chong de l'envoi à S21. To, uh, il, y a, il y a des décisions I mean, qui ne sont pas les mêmes et pour lesquelles il me semble important qu'on sache un petit peu qui same. faisait quoi. So know, uh, L'accusé. 
Monsieur le juge. The division of the elements into three categories. La répartition des éléments ou des composants en trois catégories. Was made by the two persons. C'était deux personnes qui s'occupaient de cette répartition. And the decision to send them directly and immediately to Chung Ek, à Chung Ek, without having them to go through Phnom Penh, sans qu'elles ne passent par Phnom Penh, was decided Ceci by décidé me, myself. Par moi, moi-même. C'est moi-même qui décide cela. Donc là, Judge il n'y avait pas so de délégation no à un subordonné. Vous saviez bien que si vous envoyez well, quelqu'un directement à Chong-Ek, si vous pouviez être tout de suite écrasé. Well, Est-ce que, so, sur la base de quels renseignements vous preniez telle décision Est-ce que vous aviez un contrôle des motifs you... pour lesquels ces, euh, ces listes vous étaient proposées in, uh, The accused. Sometimes there were requests to me that those people need needed not to be interrogated, and their confessions were not needed. Besoin de les interroger, leurs aveux n'étaient pas nécessaires. After I heard that and after I had a quick examination Après then I made a decision cela, that those people Après examen rapide, needed to be sent to Chung Ek directly. Que ces personnes devaient être envoyées directement à Chung Ek. If people were sent to Chung Ek si wrongly then it means their erreur, confessions would be cut off. So they needed to seek part. my approval before Par those people could be sent to Chung Ek. Euh, obtenir mon autorisation avant que ces personnes ne soient envoyées à Chung Ek. This is my response, voilà ma Your réponse, Honor. Monsieur le juge. Est-ce que c'est la raison pour laquelle des enfants ont pu être envoyés directement à Chong Ek sans être transférés d'abord à S21, à Tulsling pour cette raison. The 160 children were sent directly to Chung ont été envoyés directement à Chung Ek. And in fact, those children en fait, were sent to Chung Ek without even having any consultation with me. Sans qu'il y ait eu consultation avec moi-même. Because there was no reason in getting the confession from those children. Obtenir des aveux de ces enfants. Vous pouvez nous donner un peu plus de précisions sur Judge ces enfants. D'où venaient-ils Est-ce que les parents avaient déjà été écrasés Est-ce qu'ils avaient été séparés de leurs parents Quand est-ce qu'ils ont été arrêtés when were et they arrested and when were they executed Kimre pasan lok jak krang brun accused your honor l'accusé for Monsieur such juge. detail i do not uh, have the information je ne dispose pas des informations euh, relatives à de tels à de tels détails I do not know the real situation. Je ne sais pas ce qu'était la situation. Uh, 
I can only conclude that the 160 children were those who were separated from their parents who were detained in Phnom Penh. And they were kept at Prisau. I believed this conclusion is not too far from the reality of the situation at the time. De la réalité telle qu'elle était à l'époque. This is my response. Voilà ma réponse, Your Honor. Monsieur le juge. Judge Lavergne. Est-ce que des enfants ont été obligé de travailler à Pressar à partir de quel âge étaient-ils séparés de leur mère, s'agissant de l'évolution Est-ce qu'ils étaient immédiatement séparés de leur mère Est-ce qu'ils pouvaient rester un certain temps Est-ce qu'il y avait des enfants à Pressar et qui s'en occupaient The accused. L'accusé. On this matter, I am also unclear because I did not see it with my own eyes. Par rapport à cette question, que je n'ai pas vu les choses de mes propres yeux. Par conséquent, cela n'est pas clair. Je ne peux pas vous répondre de manière exacte. I can only conclude that. Je ne peux que conclure. The very young children who were separated from their mothers, separated from their mother, just after they were separated from their mothers, they would immediately be smashed nearby the compound of the Ponyayat High School. Du de l'ancien lycée Ponyayat. Therefore. Those children, those 160 children, were not the very young children. They were not the very young children. At least they were seven years old or eight years old and up. They had at least seven years. L'interprète se reprend, il pas, ce n'étaient pas les enfants les plus jeunes. Those children, when Ces they enfants, arrived there, lorsqu'ils arrivaient dans cet endroit, they were forced to do labor. ils étaient forcés de travailler. And the question is, what did they do? La question est la suivante, que faisaient-ils I thought of the child of Brother Mom Nai and Je another child. Mom et un, un autre enfant, par exemple. At night, they went around Le trying soir, to catch mice. Ils essayaient d'attraper les souris. Every night, they went around soir, looking to catch mice. À gauche et ils cherchaient les souris. And usually, they rested during the day. Et d'habitude, pendant la journée, ils se reposaient. So, in summary, this is my response to you, Your Honor, regarding the children. S'agissant des enfants, Monsieur le Juge. Judge Lavergne. Alors, une autre question dans un domaine différent. Est-ce que les personnes qui étaient arrêtées et conduites à Pressar étaient informées des raisons pour lesquelles elles avaient été arrêtées et pour lesquelles elles étaient détenues Et est-ce que le cas échéant, elles pouvaient former des réclamations des contestations
victime représente un local grand. They accused your honor. There was none. Juge, ni l'un ni l'autre. Uh, during the uh, democratic Cambodia, there was uh, no a contest uh, could be raised. Pas de, uh, on ne pouvait pas. Il était impossible de former une contestation, une réclamation. There was uh, no uh, 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 about the transfer from one unit to another. They don't uh, tell the, the reason On for that. On ne pas de raison justifiant cela. Uh, the time was not allowed for uh, the victim to uh, contest or to raise any uh, argument. De uh, soulever uh, tout uh, argument que ce soit. Uh, let me give you an example that I, I mentioned a little bit uh, yesterday. J'en ai parlé un petit peu hier. Uh, when uh, Nat himself, uh, Nat who was uh, removed by uh, Sun Sen from S21, uh, the ground was not told for that removal. He just uh, told that it was an, uh, the need for him to do the work. Uh, on lui a simplement dit qu'il fallait qu'il aille ailleurs pour faire le travail euh, qui, qui, qui était nécessaire de faire. And he said that uh, the military communication uh, need him uh, uh, avait very besoin de uh, strongly. ses services, avait absolument besoin de ses services. Um, uh, this I would like to uh, reflect to uh, Brother Nat, and so for those who were sent to Prezor, uh, they were not uh, informed of the, the ground of their sending or their arrest. On ne les informait pas des motifs de leur arrestation. Um, that's all uh, my response, Your voilà, Honor. tout ce que je pouvais vous dire en réponse à votre question, Monsieur le Juge. Est-ce que parmi les motifs qui pouvaient justifier une uh, mise en rééducation, un envoi en rééducation, le simple fait d'avoir well, une mauvaise biographie pouvait être suffisant, le fait d'avoir uh, uh, un membre de sa famille lui-même arrêté et, uh, Incarcéré à S21, and uh, in prison at S21, or the fact of being close to suspect. someone who could be suspicious, que des were these sufficient suffisant? reasons? The accused, Your Honor, Monsieur le Juge. If you are talking about a, a bad biography, Au sujet des uh, mauvaises biographies, it refer to uh, the head of the family which has been arrested and smashed. Au père de la famille qui a été arrêté et écrasé. It is correct. C'est ce que ça peut vouloir dire. C'est exact. If you uh, say that because of the uh, class si, origin uh, that he or she was a professor uh, like me, for example, était professeur ou enseignant, comme c'était le cas pour moi, par exemple, uh, we cannot say that as a, a bad biography. Uh, this type of people could not be arrested on that um, matter. Arrêté, uh, pour un tel motif. I would like to uh, explain a bit more. Uh, in each family, uh, there was one uh, head of family. Dans chaque famille, il y avait um, un chef de famille. If the head of the family, si uh, family fell down, tombé, 
Adam members in the family étaient déchus, d'autres uh, membres, les autres membres de la famille uh, arrested and smashed, pouvaient être arrêtés et écrasés, be sent ou to être prison. envoyés à Pressa. Uh, this is true. C'est vrai. So uh, the second list indicate uh, clearly uh, number zero 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 seven zero zero set two seven one two set about uh, case uh, number nine a female. Uh, une femme uh, member number 9 membre numéro 9 and her husband was Chan Sarat he was Jan a member Sarat. of a staff member of S21 personnel de S21 uh, he was a member of S21 and her husband uh, was arrêté. The upper echelon sent her to uh, prison. Supérieur l'a envoyé à Pressa. Uh, uh, this is my uh, explanation. When the husband was arrested, uh, the the wife uh, would be sent to uh, prison. La femme a été envoyée à Pressa en conséquence. Ça c'est mon explication. Alors, Judge jusqu'à présent, dans les débats, so, on a beaucoup employé des mots de rééducation, de composants. Uh, Je trouve que quite often. dans l'ordonnance de renvoi, And il y a une référence order, à une autre terminologie, une terminologie beaucoup plus juridique, uh, much beaucoup more plus crue. Legal il n'est pas question de, le, de lieu de rééducation dans les faits pour lesquels vous accusez. In, Il est question is, no of, uh, de réduction sites. à l'état d'esclavage. Alors, est-ce que enslavement. pour vous, so for you, Pressar, Pressar était was Pressar un lieu où les gens étaient réduits à l'état d'esclavage Je peux lire And le paragraphe. 135 de l'ordonnance de renvoi où il est dit ceci. Plutôt le paragraphe 135, je pense, des, des faits. Les détenus à S21 et à Pressard ont été contraints d'effectuer un travail forcé. Dans tous les aspects de leur vie, ils faisaient l'objet d'un contrôle strict et d'une véritable appropriation, ce qui se traduisait par la limitation de leur liberté de circulation et de leur espace de vie, par la prise de mesures visant à les empêcher ou les dissuader de s'évader et par leur soumission à des sévices et autres traitements cruels. Tous ces actes ont eu pour conséquence Resulted les in depriving de the prisoners libre of their free choice. Alors, je so, répète ma question. I would like que to Pressar repeat my question. So, bien was Pressar for you a place where people were enslaved? The accused, your honor. Monsieur le juge, uh, the language uh, in the international law, le langage hein, caractéristique du euh, droit international, the language in the international law uh, used for prison, yes, it's correct. Uh, ça, it is a kind exact, of um, description. It is uh, true. Cela correspond à cette description. C'est vrai. C'est exact. 
Alors, je vais poursuivre par une autre question. Où, cette fois-ci, je vais vous demander si pour vous, Pressar est aussi un lieu de persécution et a aussi été un lieu qui a contribué à une politique d'extermination. Je rappellerai que ce matin, si j'ai bien entendu ce que vous avez dit, vous avez dit que l'objectif, tôt ou tard, concernait les personnes détenus à Pressar était de les Regarding exterminer. Pour que je vais relire so les parties concernant l'extermination dans l'ordonnance de renvoi, il est dit ceci. Les conditions de vie imposées aux prisonniers à S21, mais S21 comprend aussi Pressar, étaient organisées de telle sorte qu'elles étaient propres à entraîner la mort. Ces conditions de vie incluent notamment la privation de nourriture et de soins médicaux appropriés. Est-ce que ce paragraphe-là s'applique selon vous aussi à Pressar Thank you, uh, Your Honor. This paragraph uh, is, in fact, uh, reflect uh, the crimes at Pressar. Alors, pour l'instant, je n'ai pas d'autres questions well, à poser à l'accusé. Je souhaiterais quand même attirer l'attention de l'accusé sur des documents qui viennent d'être euh, euh, versés au dossier et qui sont des documents que les co-juges d'instruction ont obtenus dans le dossier numéro 2 et qu'ils ont fait parvenir à la Chambre de première instance considérant qu'ils pouvaient être utiles. Parmi ces documents, il y a des confessions, mais aussi des listes de prisonniers. Et je souhaiterais que l'accusé puisse examiner au cours d'une suspension un document qui est le document E4710, qui est intitulé « Liste de prisonniers de la division 920 libérés » en date du 26 novembre 1977. Voilà, donc je pense qu'il est possible pour vous de vous référer à ce document, éventuellement aux autres documents qui ont été versés par les co-instructions, et ultérieurement, je vous poserai des questions sur ces questions. Monsieur le Président. Oh. Le président, s'il vous plaît, le président, 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 le je vous remercie. Le paragraphe paragraph number in the closing order in relating to extermination was not mentioned. Pas assez and it is paragraph 139. It is paragraph 139. Du paragraphe numéro 139. 139 of the closing order, which relates to extermination. Thank you. The president. Uh, Uh, the bench, uh, do you have any further questions to Madame the accused? Madame, Monsieur le Juge, avez-vous d'autres questions à poser à l'accusé? If uh, you don't have any si questions, I have a, a few questions uh, remaining questions uh, in relation to uh, the fact. Um, a while ago, uh, you uh, used the uh, language in response to 
uh, Judge Suva Cartwright saying that the staff member of uh, Presa uh, were combatants. I would like to uh, know further uh, were the staff member of Presa uh, the armed force uh, with the guns or just a security uh, people uh, in a civilian uniform? En uniforme militaire ou bien civil. Your Honor, as far as I remember, uh, there were no guns or arms at uh, the prison, but there's a few of them uh, with the messenger or guard only. Uh, the management of uh, over those elements. Il y avait des, we, des uh, des uh, conduct through the inspection and monitoring only. That's all. The voilà, president, thank you. Uh, uh, we feel interested in this uh, matter because in the closing order de and, and on the minutes, parce que dans uh, uh, the dans agreed fact uh, uh, indicated that uh, those elements uh, who are working uh, uh, were frequently and strictly monitored uh, by uh, the armed force uh, uh, fully armed. That's why I asked uh, this question for, for a clarification, but it's your right uh, to respond. But uh, we will have uh, more witness to testify uh, on this matter. My second question for you, uh, those people who uh, were in the uh, third group, which is the Les serious offenders group, uh, what were the treatment uh, for them at night uh, uh, when they stay de or they sleep at night? What quel, were their treatment then? Uh, Dans quelles conditions the accused, Your Honor, uh, Mr. President, la nuit. Um, uh, they Monsieur might be President, kept in uh, the house or the stable and uh, lock uh, uh, the door from the outside. Dans un bâtiment fermé à clé de l'extérieur la nuit. No. Le the President. When uh, the uh, re-education center at Preysol received the Lorsque children, le centre de and uh, uh, there was uh, not a kind of um, examination, but for the small S children, were separated from les their mothers, were uh, smashed uh, next to the center at Phnom Penh. It's only those who were seven or eight uh, years old who were uh, uh, detained was uh, sent to Preysol before sending to Chiang Ai. Was that true? The accused, uh, your own, uh, Mr. President, uh, I said that it is true, but it, it is my uh, uh, it was my conclusion. The President, my question is that uh, uh, when Question they were sent there and before cas, the decision ça, uh, to uh, transfer them for uh, smashing, uh, wo was there any organization or arrangement that allowed them to learn any uh, language or any script? The accused. Uh, Mr. President, uh, there was Monsieur no Président, kind of uh, education, uh, even though uh, the children of the cadre, si for example, cadre, uh, the son um, of uh, the cadre, Momnai, they did not uh, study, but they uh, catched the mouse. Uh, the President, uh, this morning, uh, you admitted that uh, there were uh, pregnant women who were full of uh, pregnancy. Uh, it was in 1977, and uh, Judge Cartwright uh, asked you that question, and you uh, said that uh, for those babies who uh, were delivered from the, the mothers, and if the mother were 
uh, smashed, uh, the baby uh, were also smashed. So now come to the situation where the mother uh, was allowed to stay after uh, her delivery of the child and if uh, she needs uh, to go to uh, the rice paddy to work, so was uh, there any arrangement to allow her uh, for a certain uh, day uh, for her to stay uh, for uh, a breast feeding? So if uh, she Après had to go uh, to uh, dig the canal or build the rice paddy dike, so what happens to those small babies? The accused, Mr. President, Réponse frankly speaking, I uh, did not witness it and I did not uh, consider that matter. What I reported is question. based on my analysis. Jusqu'à présent, c'est ce que j'ai pu déduire de mes observations. Les enfants nouveau-nés étaient laissés à leur mère. Quand la mère délivre les enfants, ils ont dû rester. Juste après l'accouchement, les mères se reposaient However, quelques temps. Mais la période de maternité dépendait de la santé de la Whenever the health was strong enough mère, for them to work in the rice field, and nobody rizière, would take care of the young babies. She would have to take the babies with her and left the babies the under the tree while she worked in the rice field. This is my assumption. The president, Question. you said the elements has to be supervised in the Pressor Security Pressor. Office were required to attend a criticism et and self-criticism meetings. Critique critique. Criticism meeting means to report to Les the meeting on their misbehaves and that's for the self-criticism and de also to criticize other people's uh, mistakes. What about their daily routines? Did they have a regular work? Quotidienne. Or, and what about the meeting? Was it held on a weekly basis or every 10 days? Or semaines, and when it was jours. held? During the night or the daytime? Et elles avaient lieu de jour ou de nuit? The accused, Mr. Réponse. President, it was not held every day. Ces In principle, principle, it was held every seven days. Days and nights. However, sometimes it was postponed due to the urgency of the work in the rice fields. There were in the rice fields that they could not wait. Some of the young president. My last question to you. This will be my last question. You replied to Judge Cartwright that the re-education office in Prezor was a prison without walls. And the question is, during the times that people or the elements were sent for re-education at Prezor, besides one staff who was in charge of the operate of the radio for Nam Hui, Hui de radio de Were there Hui. any other people who escaped from this prison without walls? Qui se sont de cette prison sans mur? The accused, Mr. President. Réponse. From what I can recall, there was none. Je ne me souviens d'aucune autre évasion. The, the strict measure was applied Il y avait des for mesures strictes qui anyone who attempted to escape in order to prevent them from escaping. Pour prévenir les évasions. And the second strict measure was not to allow them to have any chance to rebel against us or to grab our weapons. So there were no, not many weapons. There was only a few for the protection of Camarade Hui. 
the president. What about one staff who hails the radio for Nam Hoi? Personnel, l'opérateur de radio de Nam Hoi. And he fled. Was he recaptured and brought back? Il s'est échappé. Est-ce qu'il a été pris et ramené? The accused, Mr. President. The person who fled. He fled, and we could not uh, capture him. And I reported the matter to the upper echelon, and it was reported to various units in order to uh, arrest him. So we were not sure whether he was recaptured and smashed, and that was uh, what happened from my recollection. En tout cas, c'est ce dont je me souviens. However, he was not recaptured and brought. Back en tout cas, je sais qu'il n'a pas été ramené in Phnom Penh à S21 à Phnom Penh, no. ni interrogé à Phnom Penh. The president, thank you. Le président, je vous remercie. The chamber judges have no further, have no further questions regarding the establishment and the operation of the re-education office at Preso or S24. And this, this morning, we had a request from the co-prosecutors with the agreement from the international lawyer for Group 1 Civil Party. The chamber accepted the request, which means the proceedings on the fact will be adjourned today. And for the next proceeding, the next hearing, we will start at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And it is the duty of each party to have the opportunity to question the accused regarding the operation and the establishment of the re-education office S24 or Presor. So this is the information for all the concerned parties. Voilà donc comment nous allons procéder. Prison officer, can you take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. L'audience est levée.